I looked up and saw a third machine. It was erect and motionless like the others. An insane resolve possessed me. I would give my life to the Martians, here and now. See, Jews in space! space. 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 You want to say yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> The first race were the Hebrews, coming from our future. They forget I am half human. Thoth says that they came from off planet, but we don't know where exactly. Damn it, I'm bleeding, stupid! You're a bleeding racist, you bleeding off! The Hebrews were kind of like a kid who went through fifth grade and didn't make it, so they had to do that grade over again. What the hell is wrong with you? Have you seen the human race? It's all of this, we'll put it right back in its place. They learned all the math, the left brain stuff, but they didn't get the right brain aspect of evolving consciousness, the doing. Stop staring at me like that, woman! The spiders in your eyes cause me distress! When Goyam attack us, we get on the smack, we'll slap them right back in the face! They didn't graduate to the next level of evolution, so they had to do it again. Well, Mr. Cotton, you have what we in the medical profession call a naughty complaint. Now, my advice to you is to um, put this paper bag over your head. It's got little holes there, you see, little holes for your eyes. And uh, to ring this bell and to take this card along to your hospital, okay? And I shall inform all your relatives and friends and anyone else that I happen to bump into, okay? Cash, wasn't it? Thank you very much. <laughs> Get out! This would explain quite a few things about the Hebrew people in general. It also puts perspective on the story of Exodus. Perhaps Moses incarnated into that lifetime to free the Hebrews because they were not direct descendants of humans and were being treated unfairly. Oh, hear me! All oh, pay heed! The Lord, the Lord Jehovah, has given unto you these 15. Oi. 10, 10 commandments for all to obey. Or could it be that Moses was visited by an ascended master of the Hebrews who guided him to free their people? Given what we know about dimensions and consciousness, it definitely puts a fresh perspective on old stories that didn't make much sense. We the logic by which you arrived at your conclusion escapes me. It's obvious pseudoscience when a person claims a person made a statement. And the actual statement is not from Thoth, or from Moses, or from Jesus, or from the Buddha, or any such character. Instead, it's from a New Age channeler, or esoteric channeler in the past basically claiming to channel that being. So we're not talking about documented evidence for a claim, we're talking about a person sitting, usually with their eyes closed, supposedly channeling a particular spirit and talking in a funny voice. Many of you are feeling it. Maybe that's why you're watching this now. Maybe there's something that has happened in your life that would allow you for a moment just to open your mind and look inside something you always thought was untenable before. Only reserved for those on the lunatic fringe before. And here you find instead wisdom pouring out. Perhaps you'll even feel the love of God. While that voice sounded, London had still seemed alive. But suddenly there was a change, the passing of something. I knew not what. Except now all that remained was this gaunt quiet. <laughs> 